Hey all brothers and sisters, my name is Captain Meatshield and welcome back to Star Trek Online. Well, things are getting interesting, things are getting very interesting. Um, and there's also new uh, summer event stuff going on. Um, there's an opportunity to get a new uh, free starship, New, I think it's tier 6? T6? Uh, Vorgon Battlecruiser or a carrier or something along those lines. It's, it's this thing up here in the corner of this. Um, if you're familiar with your track lore, the Vorgons were the... They, I think they only made one appearance, and that was in the next generation when Picard went on that holiday to Riser. Um, we had some mission stuff in the story of this with the Toxel Tut, which um, was this device from the future, and the Vorgons were from the future, and they're travelling through time to try and find this world-ending doomsday thing, or whatever, I don't know. but. Hey, it's something to, to strive for, so I might be doing some of that at some point. Maybe not on camera, but I might be working at working towards it off camera. We'll see. Um, but we've got a story mission to do. Durkan Rex, or Dukan Rex, not Durkan. His, his eyes are looking a bit far apart, don't you think? It's looking a bit weird. But yes, the founders are dicking over Odo, so Odo dicked over Bajor. Um, Kira slapped him. It, it was a tumultuous episode. It was it was very very interesting. Um, Garrick and Quark being their wonderfully seedy selves, you know, you can you can always enjoy that. But let's see what we've got going for us now. The home world of the Founders is under attack by the Herc. Oh, this is our darkest hour. If Empressa falls, the Dominion will come to an end. I'm asking you to join in the defense efforts as soon as you can. A task force will assemble at my fleet's location in the Gamma Quadrant and warp to Empursa from there. Remember, if we fall, the Alpha Quadrant is next. It's time to make a stand. I hope you'll join in the fight. We're really ramping up the stakes on this one, aren't we, Odo? Uh, ooh, this one's got lots of different things that we can get. It's going to be the new uh, the new set, I think, isn't it? And a phased waveform beacon signals for a few Herc forces to reinforce your current position. Oh, right. Very nice. That's cool. Okay. If yeah. You'll excuse me. Y you're excused. Previously on Star Trek Online, the Dominion, as you know it, is on the verge of collapse. Oh, is this like something that came out recently? I'm assuming. Wants to get a recap on things. What's happening? Yes, Garrick, I found your mysterious widget. What is it exactly? It's not Karevna Tech. I found a similar device on Bajor. These devices called the Herc, and we put them there. The other founders are hiding things from me. Odo, look out! Wait. Hold your fire. I think it's trying to communicate. When did that happen? We can't hold off the hurt forever. Alliance forces are spread too thin to help, Quark. We need the Klingons, brother. Otherwise, we're doomed. Sword of Kalos, as promised. Once again. I feel like I've missed some content. Of the right, okay. I arrived here ahead of you, and I've already. I'm afraid that. that I'm, I'm going to cancel hurt? all of this, um, and I'm going to abort this mission. I feel I feel like I've missed something. I feel like I've missed a mission. I have doomed to repeat is what I'm meant to be doing. Oh right, I've got like three episodes before I get to that. Bloody hell. Uh, ugh. <laughs> I thought things were ramping up a bit quick. Okay, let's do this one then. Odo's found something intriguing in the Masan system. Something the Founders want no one to know about, even one of their own. Ooh. That certainly piques my curiosity. What doesn't? I'll meet you in the Masan system. Odo wants to travel incognito this time. I trust you'll be able to deliver him and that surly Jem Hadar bodyguard of his to the Masan system intact. One more thing. I've taken the liberty of informing Captain Kira, and she'll be joining us as well. After the Karema incident, she's taken a personal interest in high-level Dominion activity, particularly 
where Ambassador Odo is in Lagos. Unsurprising, I must say. Okay, let's do this. Let's do things be in the seeing you. Yes, be seeing you. Let's do things in the right order. Um I'm gonna take I'm gonna drop that. Because I don't need that at the moment. Uh, right, doomed to repeat. Let's make that my primary. And let's head to... Uh, do I need this? I don't think I need that. Uh, the Masan system. Yes, let's go. Away with us. Helmsman, take us away. Right, what do we got going on down here? Over here. I only recently learned of the station here. It's very old and very well concealed, even from Vorta and Jem'Hadar. From what I can tell, the founders studied alien life here, including the Herc. Oh. We may be able to recover useful tactical data on them from the station's computers. Were you expecting those Dominion ships out there? No, and that concerns me. This is supposed to be an abandoned facility. Take us into comms range and open a hailing frequency. Let me do the talking. I should be able to make any Vorta or Jem'Hadar fall into line if things get difficult. I will hold you to that, but I'm not expecting great things. Agreed. Helm, take us in. So far, so good. They're not targeting us. Uh, it's the little things that make me feel comfortable, I guess. A fresh pair of socks. <laughs> Entering the Dominion systems oh, without hello. authorization has become a bad habit of yours, one I have grown weary of. You've shown a singular talent for annihilating the Herc. I suggest you return to that before my patience with your insolence expires. Okay. Well, the ambassador has something to add there. Don't you, Mr. Odo? There's no need for this posturing, Founder. We're here on official business under my authority. Odo, it seems to be a day for defiance and bad habits. You do not have the authority to grant access to this system. It is restricted to all but those of the highest level, a level you do not possess. Now then, I suggest you leave immediately. Nah, that's not gonna happen. Fire to disable. Odo must not be harmed. <sighs> Alright, alright, alright. Okay, oh, gold shields. Ah! Where the hell did all that hole go? Uh, Odo, I'm sorry, I think we might be dead. Or, oh, oh no, wait, this is. We're meant to deliberately get disabled, aren't we? Yes? Um. I seem indestructible. And so do they. Oh, boarding parties. Oh, no, you don't. Oh. This is Councillor Garrick aboard the Tane. <laughs> Cease hostilities. Consider that your first and only warning. We must protect the Founder. All ships, disengage! Yeah, you run, you buggers. <laughs> Thanks, Garrick. Perfect timing. You certainly know how to make my days more interesting. An ancient Dominion research facility, guarded by the leader of the Founders? A cloaked fleet pales in comparison, but it's the best I can add to the mix. Well, I'm glad you could make it. I wouldn't have missed it for the world. The fact that the Founder was willing to fire on one of her own speaks volumes on this station's work. I look forward to discovering its secrets. Well, we just gotta hope they don't plan to blow it the fuck up. That's all Since I can say. when does the Founder stand guard duty, Odo? She doesn't. Let's find out what she's hiding. Indeed. We don't have a lot of time. We may have held off the Founder for now, but she'll be back, and she'll bring friends. Let's get down there and find what we came here for, before every Jem'Hadar in the Quadrant shows up. That's a good idea. I couldn't agree more, Captain. Why don't you and the Ambassador join the away team while I remain on guard with my fleet? I thought you wanted to find some secrets, Garrick. On any other day, I'd be the first to beam down. However, after the Karema incident, I believe both the captain and the ambassador need to discover the truth of this station together. Call it a trust-building exercise. That's uh, 
diplomatic of you, Garak. Captain Kira makes a good point. Let's get this over with before it gets even more complicated than it already is. Indeed, let's do that. Why do I get some sort of weird feeling that the Dominion, like, kind of engineered the Herc or something? I feel like some sort of subplot like that might be coming along. Looks like the station's running on auxiliary power. We've got life support, basic lighting, not much else. If we're going to get anything useful out of this relic, we'll need to get the main power back online. Agreed. Stay vigilant. We have no idea what to expect here. Uh, I'm expecting Herc. I'm possibly expecting Jem'Hadar and uh, Dominion forces. But definitely Herc. This is nice and eerie. I like it. It's not quite Drazana Station levels of eerie, but it's good enough for now. Big glowy button. What do you do? Turn on main power. Well done. Main power is back online. We'll be able to access other systems, including the data core. Let's find an access console and see what's in there. Hopefully, the data files aren't corrupted beyond repair. Well, keep all of our fingers crossed, I guess. Very quiet and empty. Pitter patter of everybody's footsteps is rather amusing. <laughs> it's like being followed by an army of small dogs. <laughs> right, okay, let me in. What do we have in here? Is this, this is some sort of control room? Obviously, I like the big chair. I'd like one of those, please. Oh, right, okay. Activate data servers. Hmm. This terminal is in poor shape. None of the files are accessible. Considering their age, I'm not terribly surprised. Hmm. The founders wouldn't keep a place like this hidden to protect dust and broken files. Let's check all the data terminals and consoles in the area. That one over there looks reasonably intact. Okay, let's have a look. Research report 4121.63, Dominion Reckoning. My fellow founders, the Masan Research Station is fully operational. As we continue to add worlds to our sphere of influence, our studies of xenobiology become more important. We must know all we can of both friend and foe. We need every advantage we can find if we are to achieve true Dominion. Uh, yeah, I guess you. I Our guess. Our Kramer project is underway. You'll recall the recently discovered race of tree dwellers, hunted as we once were. Genetic engineering of these solids has produced considerable results. Their intelligence has increased by a factor of three so far. We predict the species will be the first of many loyal servitors and vassals. So she's talking about the creation of the Vorta. So this this station has been around that long. Wow. Okay. Interesting. She's talking about the Vorta. Mm. The date she gave was nearly two thousand years ago, not long after the Dominion was founded. This facility's older than we thought, much older. So that nearly two thousand years ago from this date, that would put that about four hundred A.D. Wow. <sighs> That is a really fucking old station. Some really impressive technology for the, for the time. Dominion, you know, very, very technologically capable. Yet we can still blow them up. But we still won the war for the Alpha Quadrant. Can't be that good. Research report 4653.15. Dominion Reckoning. Our scouts have discovered an interesting species of solids at the edge of the Dominion. They are a species of sentient insectoids that live primarily underground. We may not have detected them were it not for a thorough geological scan. Alright, well there goes my thoughts on them genetically engineering the, uh, the Herc. But they certainly discovered them. Initial studies have revealed that these solids are based on germanium. I've attached bioscan data we collected on them for your review. 
I've dispatched a research unit to study these borrowers further. They may be just what we need for the military initiative. Yeah, right, they were going down the, the alien xenomorph route of... We found this really cool thing. It can do... it can be a brilliant weapon. Let's, let's do that. That's no bad thing's gonna come from this. Burrowing sentient insectoids. Germanium-based. Hmm. She must be talking about the Herc. Must be. Judging by the date, the Founders made first contact with the Herc nearly 2,000 years ago. Oh, yeah. So did they... M I don't know, was the date before or after the Vorta thing? I didn't actually pay attention to that. Let's see if we can find more data anyway. Oh, wow. There's markers everywhere. Ooh, this is, this is cool. I'm liking this. Finding a lot more out about the, the Dominion timeline. Research report, Dominion date, 7021.27. More data has arrived on the cadre species 484 designation, Burrows. Their world's unusual orbital path has taken it out of the habitable zone. As a result, the borrowers have retreated underground and entered a state of hibernation. Oh. While dormant, a smaller servital race tends to the borrowers. They also maintain their shared habitat and technology. I've instructed the field team to take advantage of their dormancy period, and they are now conducting aggressive studies of these intriguing solids. My team initiated first contact protocols with the borrowers prior to their mass dormancy. They found them to be friendly and intelligent, if not willful. We've identified a common element in their food supply. Manipulation of this element may prove useful in subjugating them. Okay. Unbelievable. It sounds like the Founders made first contact with the Herc in order to find a way to conquer them. It's like Quark says. The bigger the smile, the sharper the knife. Yep, that is very true. Was that a rule of acquisition? I can't remember. Research report 7903.01. Dominion Reckoning. Cadre species 468. Designation Jem'Hadar is a massive success. They will be the strong arm of our Dominion. Guided by our cunning, brilliant Vorta. The toil of these vassals will allow us to spend more time in the link with those we hold most dear. She sounds so... proud. The birth of the Jemadar, as seen through a Founder's eyes. Interesting. No mention of the Herc, however. Their designation number was lower than ours. They were our predecessors. Perhaps something went wrong? Something that led the Founders to reject and abandon them for a different species. Us. Hmm. Or maybe they used what they learned from the Herc to develop the, the Jem'Hadar. Maybe, maybe the jet, you know, the, 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 the gene splicing and genetic engineering things coming back into play. I don't know. Let's find out. Let's check another console. Research report Dominion date 8183.67. The burrowers have emerged once again and in a hostile state. They have taken to the stars, moving from sector to sector. Attacking anyone that crosses their path. Their goal is not one of conquest, but of consumption. They leave nothing but dead worlds in their wake. Ooh. Though we do not understand their newfound savagery, we have found a use for it. When the burrowers set their sights on a world, we offer the inhabitants a choice. Those that submit to our dominion rule are defended by the Jem'Hadar. Those that don't, serve as an object lesson to others. No, we've seen that tactic before. So, the Founders have been using the Herc to manipulate others for some time now. Bend the knee to the Dominion, or we'll stand back and let them ravage your world. Only now something's different. Something's changed. They can't keep the Herc in line with the Gemadar anymore. And we're all paying the price. Indeed. Hmm. This is all a very intriguing plot. Let's go and find some more information. Research report 8532.38. Our scouts have returned from a wormhole expedition. The solid races on the other side are primitive and unremarkable, save for one. 
They are called Klingons, and show a singular talent for violence, one that rivals our own Jem'Hadar. Left unchecked, these savage creatures could become dangerous enemies. Oh, you almost sound worried there. While the Klingons are too willful to subjugate, their genetic material could produce viable cohorts to the Jem'Hadar, or their replacements. We have begun development of a new cadre species, designation Thakiri, using demons from Klingon folklore for inspiration. As with Jem'Hadar, we have bound them to our service with the White. We will test them in combat on the Klingons themselves. Okay. What? <laughs> okay. Research report supplemental entry 8671.71 Dominion Reckoning. Somehow the Fakari have broken the hold of the White and turned on their rightful masters. Most of our research team were killed. Intelligence reports suggest a union between the Fakari and a Klingon warlord known as Mular. Perhaps this will lead to a state of mutually assured destruction on Kolnos. One can only hope. Okay, I did not expect this. The Founders made the Fakiri? So it would seem. Only they lost control of them, despite the use of Ketracel White. Based on what we know about Fakiri, it seems the price they paid for their freedom was insanity. They became the monsters they were based on. Which I suppose was effective enough. Unfortunately for all concerned. Jeez, okay. So, the Dominion have dicked about with, like, all of the badness from Klingon history, basically. Research Report 9076.23. Final entry. I am weary. Soon I'll return to the Great Link, and I will be glad to be rid of this place. The borrowers have emerged again. We can barely control them this time. The Jem'Hadar were able to divert their onslaught at great cost. Rather than counterattack, they went through the wormhole to seek easier prey. And that sent them through where they eventually wound their way towards the Klingon Empire. Our agents in the other quadrants report that the Burrow result was a sweeping one, going as far as Kronos. Hopefully they'll devour every atom of that wretched planet. The Burrows will eventually return to Dormancy. Strangely, it appears that some of their forces intend on remaining in the other quadrants. It seems they have a long-term goal. Galactic devastation. They steered the Herc into other quadrants. Yes. They knew the Herc problem was getting worse even then. Instead of preparing or seeking allies, they expanded the Dominion. And when the Herc re-emerged, they tried to deal with it on their own, and failed. Their arrogance may lead to the end of the Dominion. We need to get this data to the Alliance, all of it, even the damaged and corrupted files. There has to be information we can use in here. I completely agree with you, Odo. I'm picking up something on my tricorder. There was a massive power spike on a lower deck, and now I'm reading a large number of systems cycling up. Something's happening down there. I don't like the sound of that. We should investigate this. Agreed. Take your team and Captain Kira down to investigate. I'll remain here and pull as much of the data as possible. We won't get another chance at this. We won't be gone long, Odo. Be good if I could leave someone. Can we leave Dukan with you? Yes, good. Okay, at least you've got someone watching out for you, Odo. Um. Right, I know where I'm going. End of the hallway. We must be close to the core. Mm. Hope we don't have to leave in a hurry. There's no way our ships can lock on to us down here with transporters. Well, it's not an optimal exit strategy. <laughs> Tell me about it. Let's stay focused on the mission. Now that we're closer to the signal, I'm getting better readings on my tricorder. I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure everything that came online down here has some sort of medical purpose. Is there something else on your mind? I'm still uncertain about Odo. I need to be sure he's still not a part of all this. What are your concerns? The Odo I knew? 
wouldn't have risked Pedro like that. This Odo seems arrogant and reckless, even dangerous. We'll keep an eye on him after we regroup. Is there something that tells me I'm like Odo that's upstairs isn't the real Odo? Or something. I'm I'm speculating an awful lot. I probably shouldn't because I'm just gonna ruin things with poor estimations or poor guesses. Oh Fakiri is a stasis chambers. Yep. Well, that answers one question. These are medical stasis pods. Judging by what we heard upstairs, I think the occupants are Fakiri. Uh, yes, I can definitely vouch for that. I might have had a couple of run-ins with them. Uh, that's bad news. It gets worse. I'm picking up life signs ahead. I'll bet some of the stasis pods down here have opened. From what we know about the Fakiri, they probably won't be happy to see us. Ready weapons, stay alert. Worf and Martok need to see this. I guess they probably do, but they're probably not going to be too happy, are they? I mean, how will the Empire react to finding out that the, not only the Fakiri, but the Herc are, like... Like, the, the Dominion were responsible for all of this stuff. Hey, hey, they got some good songs out of it, I guess. <laughs> got some good tales. Uh, hello? Klingon demon creatures. Uh, what have we got here? What's going on with this? I'm picking up traces of Ketracel white in these tanks. Hmm. The Dominion probably manufactured it here to keep the Fakiri in line, and took it with them when they left the facility. So, we have a station full of angry Fakiri with no way to pacify them. Well, we should keep moving then. I don't want to stick around and... Well, we're going to have to kill them, but... Hopefully get out of here before more of them wake up. We've got company, and they don't look friendly. Yep. No, I'm not expecting them to be friendly. Hello! How are you doing? Ah, okay. Good. Those hordlings go down no problem. It's these ones, the Ravagers. Need a... Mm. We're lucky there were only a few of them. I don't want to be around if all of these Fakiri wake up. <laughs> yeah, no. Let's see if we can find some way to keep the rest of these pods from opening. Very well. Let's see what we find down these hallways. Ah, God fucking hell. I saw the blips on my radar, and I didn't think they'd come barreling through the doorway. <laughs> Fuckers. <laughs> All right, girls, stay down, you bitch. And give me all your stuff. Give me that loot. By the prophets. Oh god, is that? There's even more. Wow. Okay, yeah, that's a lot more of them. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh shit! And then they're not all waking up, are they? Um. Yeah. Can I, can I maybe target one of these? One of the ones that's actually around here. Just, there we go. Um. Fuck. Oh god. We got. We got the big boys. Oh, I forgot you did that. Do not hold me. Let me go. I will not settle for this. Oh, okay. You done all of your business then, have you? Do you, know, do you know how to keep them all in line? Do you know how to stop them from getting out of their cells? Uh, oh dear. Odo, are you here? Let's get out of here while we can. Yes, let's. Oh, this is a big boy. Victory is indeed life. I'm glad you know what the expansion is called. Rag to Juno certainly is life. How would, how would any of us get by without it? Let's get this chieftain down. Come on. There we go. Are there still more of them? Or are they all dead? Speak with Odo. Oh, right, okay. Uh, where, where is he? 
I think oh. we've worn out our welcome. Hmm. Oh, God's sake. I think we've worn out our welcome. Garrick informs me that a number of unidentified vessels are emerging from hidden bays throughout the station. To make matters worse, the Herc have arrived. God. They're beginning to assault the station as we speak, and I don't need to tell you how that will end. It's time to leave. Let's head back up then. Oh, and I see more blips. More Fakiri have woken up. Or awakened. I do not need to be worrying about Mooster Crackish the Lake Troll. Not here. Looks like the Herc followed us down here. Oh, great. They had to, didn't they? They got down here quick. I'll give them credit for that. Yep, yep, yep. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, are you an overseer? Uh, you are. Okay, you should be the primary target. Uh, can I... Which one do I need for attacking my target? Right, do that. Yep. Yeah. Fucking Christ. <laughs> right, I want everyone attacking this target. Come on. Somebody keep me alive for fuck's sake. Calm down, Colez. Jeez. I know this is a high stress situation, but that is really not necessary. You don't need to be shooting your crewmates in the face. Right, I'm going to try and bottleneck them up this way, and if more of these little shits just continue spawning, then so be it, we'll move on. Oh, right, the overseer's moving around, I think. Are you the overseer? You are. Good. Oh, nice. Ooh, we got him. Keep moving. We're almost there. Oh no, behind you. Oh no, look out. Oh god damn. Hold your fire. I think it's trying to communicate. You might be right. Listen. Where you knew little dick. Are you insane? Alright, well, you what's your deal? Obviously nothing good, but I'm relieved to see you well. It's fortunate we arrived when we did. A moment later. That creature would have attacked the founder. The situation was under control. Odo wasn't in any danger, Wayun. That hurt was peaceful. It was trying to communicate with us. That's your opinion. Mine is that a founder was in danger of being attacked by a member of an aggressive species. Our duty was clear, as is my conscience. We're wasting time here, Captain. The station is on the verge of being overrun by the Herc. If you want to communicate with them some more, you're free to do so, but I recommend we leave immediately. Well, I don't think we're going to get an opportunity like that again today, so agreed. So it seems that Ketracel White pacifies not only the Jem'Hadar and the Fakiri, but also the Herc. Who'd have thunk that? What the fuck is going on in here? Uh, okay. Can, can we just walk through this? No, okay, we we got to get in the mess. Okay, oh, okay. <laughs> this, is, this is a bit, this is a bit much, isn't it? But I like it. It's, <laughs> that's fun. Always a fan for the ridiculous explosions. Look, 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 look. smack. <laughs> Nice work. That that was a little too late, so that that was just a wasted, you know, waste of an opportunity. Um, I'm not going to give you any congratulations for that one. Whoever threw that. Uh, all right. That is... Once we return to the upper levels, we will be able to beam up and leave this place. Are you ready to return? I am. Let's go. Glad you could join us. As you can see, 
The situation here has become rather combustible. Just a touch. The Herc I recognize, of course, but our other opponents remain a mystery. Some new type of Dominion attack craft, perhaps? Not new. They're old. The Fakiri. Fakiri? The monsters from stories that keep naughty Klingon children in line? <laughs> I'm intrigued. Be sure to fill me in once we've managed to get out of the skirmish intact. Right. I remember Mr. Worf mentioning the Fakiri once. I'm sure I'm you beginning do. To see why. Ooh, ooh. Okay. Right, let's let's start at one end and move around. Try and find targets that other starships are targeting, I think. They are tough. How how do we defeat them? Wait, um I, I can't tell who's targeting what. We're going for that one. All right, let's go for that one. Let's get these abilities up and running. That's a bit better. Oh, that's a little bit... Fuck. Okay. So I respawn and everybody's just on top of me. This is just not the best way to go. I don't even know who to shoot at. That oh, got low health. That will do. I honestly don't know what to aim at. It's just mad. Go for something over this way. There's a great number of allied ships over this way, so I think I'm gonna, you know, helmsman, drag me over that way. Let's re-engage with the fleet. Enhanced torpedoes and phasers firing on absolutely everything within range. Deal with some of those hurt while you're at it. I do like the fact that one of the Cardassian classes, uh, starship classes, is named after Damar. That is a lovely tribute to him. I was taking a barrage of fire from somewhere over there. Could somebody deal with that? I'm busy with this fucker. Oh yeah, let's get right into the fray. Take out this dreadnought. This weird thing looks... Again, calling back to aliens, this kind of looks like... The, that kind of looks like the Nostromo a little bit. Or somewhat similar to Sevastopol Station from Isolation. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I only just noticed my shields have gotten down so low. That's bad. Can I get those back, please? That would be nice. Oh, the Dreadnought's nearly gone. Come on. All weapons fire. Yes! <laughs> get fucked, you buggers. Oh, we've totally owned this. The battle is not yet won, but it's pretty much won. God damn. Uh, get out of it, you big battle barge. What are you doing? What are you doing? Nothing. Great. I'll let you guys mop up that one. It might be a bit overkill for one little ship. I say one little ship. It's a fairly sizable ship. Let me get this. Let me get this one. I'll get this little ship. There we go. I'll lend a hand with this while I slowly move away. Oh, there. Ooh. Reading a massive Herc fleet dropping out of warp. Massive is the word! Just as the Fakiri are warping. Oh, no. Looks like the Fakiri are pursuing the better part of Valor. Can't say I blame them. Mm. A lot of Herc out there. Yeah, just a bit. The Herc seem to be distracted. There's something about the station that's holding their attention. We might be able to take advantage of this. Okay. Are you suggesting we attack? While it's true, we have the advantage for now. I don't think we'll hold it for long once we start blowing them apart. We have what we came for. If the Herc want to gnaw on an asteroid while we make a hasty exit, I believe we should let them enjoy their meal in peace. Uh, agreed. Very well. We'll deal with the Herc later. For now, let's get back so we can analyze the research data we found here. Whenever you're ready. Okay. So what are they doing? Are they, like, just chewing through the... the thing? Or are they gonna end up blowing it up eventually or something? I don't know. 
Oh, this has been a weird one. The founders never disappoint, do they? No. <laughs> Learning their role in the creation of Klingon mythology was alarming, to say the least. I can't help but wonder what other secrets we'll learn once those ancient data files are restored. I'm afraid I have bad news to share. I reviewed your encounter with that peaceful Herc, and my universal translator analysis is clear. It was trying to communicate. It was asking for help. One thing is certain. The Founders won't forget our act of defiance. We should all be on guard from now on. Our uneasy peace with the Dominion could unravel all too soon. I'm sure it will. Congratulations, Admiral. Okay. Well, I am going to wrap that up for now, I think. Uh, I think I'm sitting right in the middle of a event thing, so I'm just gonna, gonna scoot my way back out over this way. I don't think I'm in any, any actual trouble if I sit here, but I just want to be out of harm's way should harm ever come towards me. I don't want it. <laughs> Thank you. I've had quite enough of that for one day. Yeah, that's that's been interesting. There's been some interesting revelations in this one. I, I certainly will say that the story for this, like what it's doing to add to the, the, the lore of Star Trek is immense. I mean, I'm sure none of it is going to be classed as canon, but for an extended universe thing of extending the law simply as a kind of, you know, a beta canon sort of thing, fucking fantastic. It's just some awesome stuff. I really, I do like stuff like that when it's done well. Um, like things... Uh, similar things that, or similar like kind of franchises that have done things like that. Um, most notably, Alien, when they've come up with an explanation for where certain things have come from, and it's kind of really lackluster and just kind of like really, that's the best you could come up with. And I don't know, maybe on some further analysis, I might kind of end up with a similar sort of reaction to um, the Dominion's involvement in Klingon lore. But I think, I don't know, I think I quite like how it turned out, like, you know, um, mostly the Fakiri, um, because we don't know as much about the Herc, so, um, but it's interesting to see the, the kind of physical manifestation of the Herc is a direct result of Dominion dicking about with science, trying to, you know, their, their first attempts at trying to create the Gem Hadar, and, yeah, th th this is really fun, I'm really enjoying this, and, yeah, fortunately, I don't think too much has been spoiled from that little preview for... I, I think they kind of took, like, what you could probably call, like, a mid-season break or something. Um, so, I'm looking forward to continuing on with this and seeing more of the story. And, yeah, I might be trying to play some more of this offline or off-camera. I say offline, it's, a, it's, an, on, it's an MMO, you can't play it offline. <laughs> but... I might be trying to do some of the uh, the content for getting. How do I get the summer festival thing? It's on Riser. That much I know. I don't quite know how to go about getting the uh, the Vorgon cruiser. I will look into that, but I'll see what I can do. Um, see about getting myself a new ship. That could be nice. It would be nice to give myself something a little more to motivate myself back into the game off-camera. Um, but I, I kind of repeatedly stated, especially on Twitch, that um, my, my interest as far as MMO stuff goes very heavily into Guild Wars at the moment. I've reinvested a lot of time and energy into that game, and oh man, I'm, I'm having so much fun with it. But it's nice to pop back to this every now and then, even if there are some frustrations. But... As far as the story goes, really enjoying it. So I'll be back soon, and I will wrap this episode up here and just say thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, check out the playlist on the channel for more Let's Plays or Metal Covers, and give this video a like or a comment just to leave your thoughts. And if you wish to join the ever-growing ranks of the Order of the Shield, subscribe on YouTube, chuck me a follow over on Twitch, or maybe even consider checking out my Patreon and becoming an officer within the ranks. But thank you again for watching this video, and I will catch you all very, very soon. This is Captain Meat Shield signing off. house.
How big is your influence? Pretty big, but you're also a pretty fucking big building. <laughs>